Hey team, welcome back to another tutorial and if you're joining us for the first time then my name's Stuart, thanks for dropping by today. Now in this updated Google Forms tutorial for beginners, I'm going to help you get started with Google Forms by showing you step by step how to create an online form so that you can gather relevant information from prospects, leads or customers. Google Forms are free to use with any Google account and offers an easy to use online interface as well as design styles and elements that make building online forms easy and accessible to anyone. Now before we dive into Google Forms, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that covered, let's go ahead and create your first online form with Google Forms. <music> Alright guys, let's get started and dive right into Google Forms. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, Google Forms is completely free with any Google account. Now, there's really two ways to access Google Forms and that is through Google Drive. So the first way is through Gmail like I've got in front of us or we can type in drive.google.com to access Google Forms. But what we're going to do is navigate within our Gmail account and navigate over to apps and then come down to drive. And then all we need to do within our Google Drive is navigate over to new, click on new and then come down to Google Forms. Now where there's this little arrow you can click here and you have two options to get started with Google Forms. You can create a blank form or you can create a form from a template. So for example, if we come down to template and as you can see, we have access to many Google Form templates that we can choose, we can customize the way that we like. So for example, you can view any of these and you can customize and modify these online forms. So for example, if there are any of these forms that are similar to what you want to achieve with your Google Form, you can select it. So for example, I could come over here and select this contact information form. And then you can go through this Google Form template and you can customize any of the elements the way that you like. But what we're going to do is navigate back to templates. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a Google Form from scratch. So click blank. And here we can start creating and customizing our Google Form the way that we like based on the information that we want to gather from our audience. So we're going to go ahead and actually customize this form and show you all the different elements that you can use to create your own online form. Okay, so the first step in creating our online form is we need to understand what our online form is all about. So for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're going to do is go ahead and create a website questionnaire. So this is a questionnaire we send to clients to gather information with regards to their new website. So we're going to go ahead and name this website questionnaire. And then we're going to come down here and make sure our form title is also website questionnaire. Then what you want to do is navigate down to your form description and you want to give your form a description because when you send this form to your audience, you want them to know exactly what this form is about. So for us, we're going to add a quick description. Okay, so as you can see, we've quickly added a description here. Please answer the following questions about your web design project. This allows us to create your amazing website based on your personal preferences and business requirements. So we're going to go ahead and navigate down to the first question. And I could ask, what does your business do? Now, as you can see, multi-choice has been selected. We want to select the down arrow and then we want to come up here and click either short answer or paragraph. So you can go ahead and select any of these options based on the type of question that you want to ask. So again, for example, you could go short answer, paragraph, you could go multiple choice, you could go check boxes or a drop down, you could get the individual to upload a file. So for an example, we could ask if you have any other additional information that you would like to add feel free to upload your information here and it could be a PDF, it could be some kind of document, images, it could be anything for them to upload to this questionnaire that is relevant to the question. Then we have a linear scale, multiple choice grid and checkbox grid, which we're not going to talk too much about. And then you can add a question surrounding a date or time. So if they have to enter in a specific date 
or time, you can add that in there. But what we want to focus on is short answer, paragraph, and these three options down here. Now you can also add that file upload if you like, but it's pretty straightforward. And what you want to do is actually navigate through all these different question types and see if they work for your online form. But we're going to go ahead and select short answer. And then as you can see, they can enter a short answer text down here. Now what I can do is I can come down here and I can copy this question. So for example, I could duplicate and that creates the same question down here. Now what I could do is modify this slightly. So for example, I could go ahead and modify this and I could ask what marketing activities are you involved in? And as you can see, multiple choice has been selected. This would be a great option for this question and I could add those relevant answers. So different options down here and I could also add add other. So for example, I could add Facebook ads, Google ads, SEO, search engine optimization and add option. So if they have another option that I don't have here, they can add that option in there. But again, for this question, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make it easier and just select paragraph answer. And as you can see, longer answer text. So I've got short answer text and long answer text. Now I can come down here and like I showed you, you can duplicate that question and then change it based on the new question. And then you can come over here and you can delete that particular question and then over here, I could make this question required, which means the individual filling out this form is required to answer this particular question for them to complete this online form. Then over here, you can see this little floating menu over here. If I click this plus, that's going to add another question down below. And again, I can add that information there for that new question. Then if I come down below the add question, we have import questions. So if you have other questions that you want to import from other online forms that you've created, other Google forms, you can import those questions here. Then under add title and description, you could add a title and description below a particular question. So for example, if I click add title and description, you can see I have a new title here. And this could be design related questions. And as you can see under this title, design related questions, I've added the description. These questions are about the theme style and design of your new website. So that is just a subtitle. So again, we've got our main title or H1 title up here. And then down here, we've got our secondary title, which could also be a section, which we're going to show you in a second. So if we come down here, we also have add image so we can add an image. We can add a video. So for example, if you have a question or you have a title and description that relates to a video or an image, you can add a video or image below that particular question or title. Then down here we have add section. So if I select add section and then I scroll down, you can see that I have section two. So up here I've got section one of two and then down here, section two of two, and you can add additional sections with different questions. So again, for example, I could come down here and click add question, and that's gonna add another question below section two. So again, for example, I could actually copy this title here, and I'm gonna paste it under section two, and this description, I'm gonna take this description and add that under section two description. So rather than just having the title, I now have section two, which is relevant to design related questions. And then this is now relevant, this title and description. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that and then click the delete icon. And as you can see, I've got these three questions here. And then I have an additional question here, which I have not added information to. Neither have I added information to this third question under section one. So those are the menu items on the right hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly fill out this question here and this question down here. Okay, so as you can see, I've just quickly filled out this third question here, which is what website pages would you like? And this is a multiple choice question. So again, they could select home page, about us, team page, contact, they could select all of these. And then they could add other options down here for pages that they want to add to their new website. 
Then down under section two, I added the first question here, which is what colors would you like to see on your website? And then I've entered a long answer question here. So they can enter a paragraph about the colors that they would like to use in their website. So because this is just a tutorial, I'm happy with our questionnaire at the moment. Now we're going to talk about the overall design of your online form so it's more appealing to your audience when they go ahead and fill out the form. So let's jump into the design component of your online form. Okay, so if we navigate up to the top, you can see this color palette, customize theme. If we click here, this is where we can customize the overall feel, the color, the style of our online form, our Google form. So firstly, you can choose a header. So if we select choose header, and come down to upload and upload your own image header or you can navigate through all the different themes and use some of these stock images that Google provides. So navigate through all these different categories here and find one that best represents or works with your Google form. So we're just going to go ahead and select this image header here and then come down here and click insert. And as you can see the overall color of my Google form has changed. Now I can come down to theme color and I can navigate through all these different theme colors. I can add another custom color if I like, but I'm happy with this orange. It pops, it looks good. It represents this website questionnaire. So I'm happy with that. You can come down to background color. Again, you can choose the background color of your theme. And under font style, basic is really the best font to choose because it's the easiest to read. For example, if we click decorative, that's quite hard to read, formal, that's not too bad if we come down to playful that just doesn't look very professional so I'm gonna leave it as basic I highly recommend you leave it at basic because it's easy for people to read and then when you're happy with your theme click exit and then navigate over to settings and settings is basically where you can make sure that your Google form is set up correctly so for example you can select collect email address so yes I want to collect an email address you can respond to recipients so for example if they leave their email address then there's going to be a response from Google Forms but I'm going to leave that for now we can come down here requires sign in limited to one response so again if you want to limit the user to one response you can do that there I would leave that blank for now keep it as simple as possible for your users to fill out your form then respondents can edit after submit see summary charts and text responses so again that's completely up to you if you want your audience to be able to do that but I'm going to leave that blank for now I just want to collect the email address of the individual that fills out this form then I'm going to come over to presentation again you can show a progress bar if you like so for example if they're halfway through the form it's going to show 50% as a progress bar then you can shuffle the question order if you like or show link to submit another response and then down here you can customize the confirmation message when a form has been submitted that's completely up to you and then we have quizzes which we're not going to talk too much about but essentially you can turn your online form into a quiz but we're going to leave this for now because this is a beginner's tutorial based around creating an online form so when you're happy with your settings come down and click save now you can also navigate over to these three bars and you can make a copy, you can move this form to trash, you can get a link for this form which we'll show you in a second, you can print and you can add other individuals to help you modify this form. But I'm going to leave that for now and now what we want to do is navigate over to this eye and preview what our form will look like. And as you can see, we have a preview of our Google form that we've just created. I like the look of that. Very professional, very simple and straightforward for users to fill out. So what I'm going to do now is just quickly go through this form and fill it out so we can show you what the responses look like. So we're going to go ahead and fill this form out. And as you can see, I've quickly just gone ahead and filled out the information on the first page of our Google form. If I click next, that's going to take us to the second section of our online form. Remember, we created two sections, section one and two. Down here, I can enter one last question. So if I quickly fill this out, and there we go, I've quickly filled that out. I'm going to come down and click submit. And as you can see, our response has been recorded. Woohoo! Congratulations, you have created your online form with Google Forms. Now, as you can see, I can submit another response. I don't actually want that option. I don't want 
users or people that fill out this questionnaire to be able to submit another response. So I would go back to settings and remove this link. But I'm going to head back to our dashboard. And then as you can see, we have one response already. So if I click responses, and then here you can see your responses under summary, question or individual. So again, we have a summary of our answers of the responses. Then we have question over here. So we can look at the different answers to different questions and then individuals. So we can look at the different individuals. So for example, we only had one individual that filled out this questionnaire and we have the information down here. And then up here you can print or delete your responses. Then up here where it says accepting responses, basically your form is still live and people can submit their responses. Or you can turn that off and now you're not accepting responses. But we're going to keep that on for now. Then if you navigate over to create spreadsheet, this is where you can see all your information within Google Spreadsheet. So if we click spreadsheets and we can select existing spreadsheet or create a new spreadsheet, which we're going to do now and click create. And as you can see, just like that, we've gone ahead and simply created a Google Sheet which captures the responses from our website questionnaire, our Google form, our online form that we just created. Now, what you can do is go ahead and actually customize your Google Sheet the way that you like. However, for the purpose of this beginner's tutorial, we're going to leave it at that because that's everything you need to know to essentially get started with Google Forms. And that is it guys for this Google Forms tutorial for beginners. You should now have the confidence and knowledge to go ahead and create your own online forms with Google Forms. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below. And with that said thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. In that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.